Good morning. Beloved of God, thanks for your patience a few minutes. Um, I currently, have, we have one car, and so I had to take Laura across to uh, La Cueva this morning. Uh, it's good to spend a few minutes, so I'll be jumping right into some devotions with you uh, now. And I know the sun's kind of coming at an odd angle. Um, as we're still vertical here on Facebook, hope that it fi this day finds you well. Uh, if you want to spend a few minutes dwelling in God's Word together on this 28th of November, as we cruise on through towards uh, Advent in December, uh, may God uh, give you the wisdom and the, uh, the ability to pace yourself um, as we uh, wait and watch for the coming of our Lord here at Christmas. Revelation is our invitation to Scripture together here this morning. So I'll invite you to uh, the 19th chapter, where I'll meet you there at the end of our scripture. Revelation 19, just a couple verses there together. Uh, so if you want to read along. And we'll share this word together. After this, I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, saying, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power to our God, for his judgments are true and just. He has judged the great whore who corrupted the earth with her fornication and has avenged uh, on her the blood of his servants. Once more they said, Hallelujah! The smoke goes up from her forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God, who is seated on the throne, saying, Amen! Hallelujah! And from the throne came a voice saying, Praise our God, all you his servants, and all who fear him, small and great. Then I heard what seemed to be like the voice of a great multitude, like the sound of many waters, and like the sound of mighty thunder peals crying out, Hallelujah! For the Lord our God, the Almighty, reigns. Let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. To her it has been granted to be clothed, with fine linen, bright and pure. For the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints. And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said to me, These are true words of God. May they be words of life for you today as you continue to share this journey in life and faith. Uh, our devotion from Christ in our home, if you want to continue sharing together here, so be it. Praise God. It invites our focus to the fourth verse that we encountered there where it says the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah is a beautiful breath prayer. Breathe deeply and slowly saying or thinking Amen on the inhale and Hallelujah on the exhale. How glorious our lives would be if this were our never-ending praise. When we say Amen, we mean, so be it. When we say Hallelujah, we mean, praise God. Isn't this a wonderful response to anything that God allows? Of course, it's easy when things go our way, when we look or feel good, receive the love and adoration of others, and have met all our obligations. We're quick to shout, so be it, praise God. But it's harder in times of hardship, pain, betrayal, persecution, or need. Sometimes we make this declaration with tears running down our cheeks, lost, confused, forsaken, afraid. Nevertheless, God will still God still warrants our Amen, Hallelujah. It is a prayer of faith. The Holy Spirit empowers us to take hold of the promises of God, and refuse to let it, to let go. So whatever comes our way today, breathe. Amen. Hallelujah. An invitation to pray here this morning together. Let my very breath be a surrender to your will. Lord, I trust you with my whole life. So be it. Praise God. Amen. And as this day unfolds before you, be invited to continue in uh, devotion and prayer. Uh, this breath prayer, carry it with you. Uh, or spend some time in, in quiet with it contemplation, um, and be invited to uh, turn your attention as well to people who cry silently in the night. 
May God continue to hold you, guide you, and fill you with the light of Christ.